Hey, welcome back for day six. My name's Kevin. I thank you for joining me here for level two of the Kickstart series. Today, I'm excited to share with you a new chord called F minor. So we're knocking out a lot of these in-betweener chords here in this series that aren't quite bar chords, but they're gonna challenge you a little bit more than the standard one and two finger chords. So we're gonna check out the F minor chord. We're gonna keep with that same strumming pattern from yesterday, and we're gonna do some more playing together but we're gonna kind of extend things out a little bit more today, so a little bit more endurance required for these chord progressions, and we're just gonna have a lot of fun playing the uke together. So get tuned up and let's get to it. Hey, before we get started, do me a little favor and make sure you click that alert bell so you know when the videos are coming your way. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Come on, join us here, it's a lot of fun. All right, let's check out this F minor chord here. So you may have seen this little hand position before and thought to yourself, why would I do this to myself? Well, because F minor is a really cool, creepy, kind of morose sounding chord, and it's fun to play. So the F minor here is played with our index finger on the G string first fret, middle finger on the E string of the first fret, and pinky on the third fret of the A string. So it sounds like this when you play it. The other way that you can play this is using your E minor shape. So typically we play our E minor chord right here, a little staircase, second, third, and fourth fret, and looks like this. So if we took this E minor shape and shifted it to the 3rd, 4th, and 5th fret, because we go from E, we move to the F chord if we go up a half step or one fret. Now if we do that, we have to move our ring finger up here to the G string and put our pinky on the C string. So now we have an F chord here, or rather an F minor chord here, with ring on the 5th fret, pinky on the 5th fret of the G and C string, middle on the E string of the 4th fret, and then on the A string, third fret, we have our index. So this is another option for playing the F minor chord. So maybe there's a situation where the chord progression is taking place up here. This might be an easier way to access your F minor chord rather than going down here. So again, as I always tell you, chords are situational. If you can find a shape that works better in a certain progression, you should kind of always err on the side of going with that one. So now that we've checked out the F minor chord, let's put this into a chord progression and start working on it. Today, as we kind of get a little later into the series, I thought it'd be a little bit more of an endurance test if we extend out this chord progression a little bit more, keeping with the same strumming pattern, but now we're gonna kind of test ourselves to see if we can kind of keep going with this strumming pattern and stay in time and really work through this, just like you would do if you were playing a song. So the chord progression we put together is kind of the same start as we had in day five, but then we're gonna kind of venture off on a little path here. So we start off with E flat. We move to G minor, we move to that sweet C minor chord, then we switch over to F minor, come back to the C minor, go back to the F minor, and then we end with a G major. Ooh, you're going to love this chord progression, I promise. So. Before we get started with that though, we're gonna kind of work on going back and forth between C minor and F minor. And the reason I chose this is because it's a common move that you're gonna see if you're gonna play an F minor chord. There's a lot of times C minor kind of falls into that chord progression as does E flat or G minor. So I thought it'd be a good idea to kind of hash this out before we kind of get the full progression going here. So what we're gonna do is, we're not gonna do the single strum we're gonna do the same strumming pattern we did in day five, which is down, down, up, down, up. So again, this is gonna be in three, four times. So we'll count this, and I'm just gonna hold a C minor chord as I do this here. We'll go one, two, and three, and heavy on the first strum. One, two, and three, and. So let's practice this. We're gonna go from C minor to F minor. Now, the map to get there. We play our C minor here with middle, ring, and pinky on the third fret of the C, E, and A string. And to move over to our F minor chord, I'm gonna take my pinky and just keep that locked down here on the A string of the third fret. And then with my index and middle finger, I'm gonna move over here to my F minor. So watch that switch again nice and slow. 
So the key is keeping your pinky compressed here on the string the entire time. You don't need any extra movement to make that switch. You're always trying to find those common fingers in between chords where you don't have to lift them because the path of least resistance. So let's try this. We'll strum nice and slow. We'll do the pattern twice per chord, going back and forth between C minor and F minor. If you want to try the C minor with a bar, you're welcome to do that. You can try the index finger, or you could do the, or sorry, the ring finger or the index finger, whichever you choose, but I think it's easier with the three finger version of C minor. So here we go, starting on C minor. I'll count us in with a three count. One, two, three. One, two, and three, and two, two, and three, and switch. And three, and one, two, 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 and three, and one, two. One more time. All right, so let's put this F minor into practice now. So we're gonna go through the chord progression. Follow along below, the number of times are there for you. Just make sure you catch that first time we go to C minor, we're gonna do it four times, just to add a little more tension to this progression. So follow me, take a deep breath, relax. You're playing a new chord, we're playing the uke together. It's a snowy day in Chicago. Hey, what could be better? Here we go, starting on the E flat chord. I'm gonna give us a three count in. One, two, three. One, two, and three, and two, two, and three, and switch, two, and three, and switch. C minor, two, and three, one, two, three, two, and three, and four, two, and three, F minor. minor one two and three and here comes the G all right it's time for our friend the metronome to join us here so we're gonna do this at 90 beats per minute we're gonna go through the progression two times so just relax have some fun with this again listen for the metronome but don't focus on it too much just kind of play along with me let yourself kind of uh, get in the zone here. So here we go with a three count in. One, two, three. One. Well, if you guys enjoyed playing along with me today, I have a PDF for this at allforyuke.com. You can check out where I have this progression, other progressions, and practice tracks that you can jam along with, download to your device, and play along with me wherever you go. So my name's Kevin. I thank you so much for watching. If you guys have comments, leave them below. Let me know where you're playing the uke with me. Share your experience. Which chords are you digging? Which ones are you saying, Kevin, why are you doing this to me? I'm just trying to play my uke and be happy. Well. We're having fun together here. Thank you so much for joining me for day six. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.